have about 940 students and our mascot is the bulldog and we're really excited about the bulldog and but when you think about it it's a neighborhood school with a lot of tradition this is our 114th class to graduate from Arvada High School. And we want to have a welcoming environment for them and so we have the building all to themselves just so they can get comfortable and know where they're going and we have the upperclassmen coming to help them. They go through a short class every period and so they're learning everything they can in one day about high school by all our upperclassmen and so they go to all the breakout sessions and then we have barbecue lunch for them. We had rehearsals all the way through July and then starting in August we had two weeks of band camp where we did a bunch of basics, memorized the show, memorized our parade tune and then the second week we moved into actually putting the show on the field. We are going to do five competitions this year. We're kind of one of the faces of the school, so we do the Harvest Festival parade so everybody can see kind of what we're about. We also play at the football games. And basically we work them hard all year, have them do a whole bunch of stuff. We worked really hard this summer. We went to cheer camp, which helped us prepare for future games. It helped us prepare for just stunts that we can do. It looks easy, I think, but um, when you're really good, it looks even easier. We have a squad full of girls that have never cheered before. I think four returning from last year. So we have 11 new cheerleaders. They have a really important role, and that is to, first of all, model what good citizenship is in the school, um, but also the more obvious role, which is to kind of generate spirit and get everyone excited about the sports in our school. They also do a lot of community things. They helped with the Ralston house run, and they stood at the finish line and greeted everybody that crossed the finish line. But they also want to compete in cheerleading competitions and make a good showing, so we're going to prepare for that. That's in December. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Palms is strictly a dance team, so we don't do five, the cheers six, or seven, stunting eight. like the cheerleaders do, just dancing. They've been practicing five days a week for the summer. They want to compete in state this year, a league competition and then state competition in December, which I don't think they've done for several years at least, so that's their goal this year. This is my first year coaching. I know I'm super excited about it. This is a brand new team, so I think everyone's just excited to get started. is a big year for us. The school's had some struggles around here in football for the last few years. We're dropping down to the 2A level. The bad part is we're not eligible for playoffs, which is, is kind of disappointing. At the same time, we know we've got nine games, and for nine games, we're going to go put all our chips on the table and try to go win them. So it's, it's a very positive outlook. The competition's going to be more closer to what we are at this point as we try to rebuild this program up to a 3A and 4A team. We have some great kids here at Arvada. I've really enjoyed my time here and getting to know them and I'm really looking forward to the 2016 season with these guys and seeing what we can all accomplish together. So one of the things we're most excited about is just a new way of learning. We're talking about having project-based learning or problem-based learning and um, design thinking and so it's a new way for students to learn. It's really having students be owners of their own learning or leaders of their own learning. This year we started a dual language program for our students and we also started a construction trade program through our Warren Tech School District and we're looking at um, starting a CTE program for computer sciences next year. So we're trying to be competitive with our schools around us and we're going in the right direction. We have a lot of pride and we have wonderful students here and wonderful staff and we're really trying to build our program up and have all our neighborhood students come to Arvada and it's, it's a great place to be.